could Xcode be the source of the next big supply chain attack? Maybe, as researchers recently published information about a feature in Xcode being exploited to deliver backdoors to iOS developers. Xcode allows for certain scripts to be run during its build phase, and attackers are hiding obfuscated commands that contact command and control servers that then download additional malware, such as backdoors, and can record information from victims' keyboards, camera, and microphone. These projects are being freely shared and, at a glance, look like legitimate projects on GitHub. They promise advanced features or look like other popular non-malicious projects. See, this is part of a larger long-term trend we are starting to see. Attackers see developers as a weak link in the iOS ecosystem. By targeting developers, they increase their chances of being able to perform a supply chain attack similar to what we saw with SolarWinds. We saw also at the beginning of the year from Google's threat analysis group that a North Korean campaign targeted security researchers and exploit developers with malicious payloads in Visual Studio projects. Now, if you're keeping track, this is the third Xcode incident that has been published. If you recall, Xcode Ghost was found in WeChat several years ago and affected hundreds of millions of users. Late 2020, attackers also used Xcode projects with malicious code injected in them to infect developers and steal their data. Using third-party code in projects is common for developers. Time and ease make it sometimes necessary to use found code, but developers don't always have the time to properly vet every line of code that they integrate into their projects. Acronis CyberProtect to the rescue. Its built-in URL filter stops command and control servers from downloading malicious code, and its heuristic engine stops eggshell backdoors before they can steal data. Developers are protected along with your users and your organization.